check on the text. Test. Oops. Test. Tester. Let's make sure we're live. And we are. Nice, nice. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to the live stream. And today we've got comic book readings going on. What a beautiful thing to do for a Sunday morning where I am. It's 9 a.m. on July, or sorry, 9 a.m., 11 a.m. on July 12th, 2020. And um, we got six books to choose from, okay, for this reading. And I'll give the intro to the comic books as the notifications go out, as uh, people come in to watch this thing live. Um, aside from that uh, if you want to know who i am what i'm doing what i'm up to <laughs> as kill how are you doing long time no see hope you're doing well brother hope you're doing well welcome welcome to the live stream you picked a good one we're starting a new batch of comic books to read okay and uh five of these are from reading set number four that i promised to do three of them is viewers choice what you guys pick two of them are mine my choice and this is from a comic book call um but i'll give my little intro if you want to know who i am uh glad i could make make it to, to one awesome awesome very happy to have you very happy to have you uh we've been having some amazing streams as of late for a while now actually i am on patreon patreon.com backslash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o uh, i do share a fair bit of information on patreon we do uh, i do make posts as to what our schedule is for the live streams pics of what we're doing uh, the videos that we're uploading the audios that we're uploading so if you want to follow this work patreon is a great way to do so if you do have the means it's also a great way to support this project uh, by supporting through patreon if you do have the funds to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons share and share alike okay we are live streaming this on twitch slick mick how are you doing we are live we are live streaming this on twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in these live streams live twitch is where you want to be at okay spider-man how are you doing i didn't pick any spider-mans for this uh for this batch brother okay uh there was a there was a bunch that i wanted to do uh and spider-mans i it it almost made the cut but then i went you know what there's i want to read some stuff that people haven't seen before uh but we definitely have some spider-mans on our reading list to do uh there we got some great reads here by the way we got some great reads to do okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter gabs minds vk lo and parlor if you want to sort of social wise social um, networking wise or whatever it is social platforms uh you can follow some of the work there jack how are you doing hey chicho what uh, what time is it it's 11 a.m my time it's 11 a.m my time i see alan moore alan moore indeed v for vendetta 7 p.m london yeah you guys are nine eight hours eight hours ahead eight hours ahead uh germany is nine hours ahead i believe um so europe belgium eight hours ahead as well maybe germany is eight as well uh possibly okay i do upload some of the discussions that we're having regarding just open discussions really onto soundcloud soundcloud.com backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o and those are mainly the ones uh, where i report record with the lapel mic okay where we talk about different things what they may be anything that doesn't really involve visuals even though i uploaded the audio for sharing posters uh, I think Germany is the same. So Germany's eight hours ahead. Okay, I have relatives in Germany, so I can never tell if they're eight hours ahead or nine hours ahead. I keep on forgetting about that. Catholic traditionalists, how are you doing? Good afternoon, folks. I hope that you are having a blessed Sunday. Indeed, indeed. Have you been to church today, Catholic traditionalists? Or are you going to go later on? 
most of the friends that I have that are Catholic, they usually go uh, in the mornings, uh, early or late morning mass. Uh, they attend. I went to mass earlier. Yeah, yeah. And I believe a lot of churches actually have afternoon masses as well. VC, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. And as far as the video goes, we will be uploading this to YouTube and BitChute. Um, as far as supporting this work, you can like, share, uh, comment, participate in live streams. If you're on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership. That's something we got approved for earlier this year. You can subscribe. You can follow on uh, Twitch, Twitter, Gaz, Minds, VK, uh, Twitch, and all that. And of course, Patreon is a fantastic way, as I mentioned earlier. To follow this work ripper how are you doing good afternoon morning to you all uh chicho chat how are you doing how are you all doing great doing great nikki hickey how are you doing i can't stay but i want to know when do you plan on uh rereading xo1 for a live stream we're gonna read xo number one i don't think i've i have i've done the reading for this yet nikki or, oh i guess that's reading I got XO number one as a choice to read in this set. I'm going to leave it up to the chat to decide which one of these six books we're going to read. Okay, gang. And by the way, here, let me give you this link. I had to pick a Valiant for this reading set, right? The link that I just gave you guys is the link. Uh, SKL, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, SK, um, the 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 link that i just gave you will take you to a video which i put out in 2015 or 2016 it was the introduction to the 32 books that i that we picked out to read okay to do readings for right i believe it was 32 uh 16 were from me 16 i gave you guys a choice as to what books to read three of this book these books here are viewers choice readers choice okay the cult number one v for vendetta number one and excalibur number one were part of the set that you guys i showed everyone uh i put out a video for that as well i showed everyone you know these are the books we could read your choice and these are three of them that you picked exo number one and crime does not pay uh, i believe 116 was uh two of the ones that i picked and this one which is kick cold i'm going to show you guys the covers kick cold was a recent haul that we got uh thanks to uh well actually this one came in i did the haul before uh donations came in but thanks to the donations um i was able to uh, budget myself uh to be able to do more comic book readings so nikki uh if the chat picks xo number one to read we're going to do this live and i'll have the video up on uh, bitchute and youtube in next week okay stored how are you doing hope you're doing well store dread welcome to a live stream totally good chicho there's uh spider-man says there's so many good books to read and i enjoy them all even if they're not spider-man yeah and some of the best books we read have been total surprises that atomic age was absolutely brilliant brilliant comic book and came out in the 1950s and foreshadowing what we're seeing right now in terms of technology and weapons and stuff like this I've been doing my Spider-Man project, uh, reading every issue ever made. Oh, wow. That's awesome, man. <laughs> Slick Mick. Love the comic streams. I first came across your channel by the introduction to Doomsday in DC Comics. Nice. So awesome. Good luck, man. Awesome, awesome. Some fantastic book laid out here. Yeah. Yeah, Ripper. We're all in Chicho Church. Nice. A ton of amazing issues here i hear cult is really good yeah jim starlin bernie writes and cult Pfft. reader's choice viewer's choice subscriber's choice legendary chicho river <laughs> awesome flex how are you doing hey chicho and everyone here uh, the cult's cover look pretty cool they're very cool and they're embossed should i show you guys what we got here let's see how, how we're about 10 minutes in he also did a whisper reading of the v for vendetta letter yeah valerie's letter so for v for vendetta valerie's letter doesn't appear in 
uh, number one, but I did a reading of Valerie's letter. Okay, ooh, beautiful books, man. Zare, indeed, indeed. Exciting, exciting. <laughs> How's the weather in Canada? You know what? It's getting warmer. It's been, it's been like fall weather here. Cool, rainy, windy. Like, there's been times I've worn a toque. <laughs> like going outside and we're in summer so it's been on the cold side but today it looks like it's going to be warm after this i'm going to go for a walk i believe so anyway i have exo zara says i have exo excalibur and the entire cult run haven't read cult yet amazing book amazing exo man of war amazing right excalibur what a fantastic series during the early 1990s excalibur was my favorite x book related title it was fantastic okay created by uh chris claremont and alan davis twitching jason how are you doing hey gang how's everybody doing chicho perfect reading comic weather perfect reading comic weather and on like a lot of comic books are read on the weekends i've personally if it if i had to choose a day that i've read the most number of comic books it would have to be on a sunday or a saturday right even though we pick up the comics on wednesdays on the weekends is usually when most comic a lot of comic book reading is done right so it's fun doing these on sundays flex i don't have too many comics because i really uh of I can't really afford it at the moment but I love watching these reading. awesome flex and that's one of the reasons I share these gang like people have mentioned this and I, I'll say this again one of the reasons I started doing these these comic book readings was and just comic book videos was was to share my love my passion of comic books because it's rare that I come across in my daily life with my friends and long-term friends and stuff like this it's rare that I come across people outside of the comic book store that I go to on Wednesdays and stuff like this that read comic books. And it blows my mind that this medium is not appreciated as largely as it should be within our societies. I think our societies would be better off. We as humanity would be better off if people read more comic books and it's not just about reading the big two the main characters or just watching the movies and stuff like this it's about reading the alternative the independence basically taking a look at what this medium presented to us as human artifact sort of uh, putting to print what was going on uh, during the periods that they came out right amazing they include propaganda and, and occult literature and uh, educational stuff it's so vast so vast crime horror science fiction some of the most amazing science fiction you've ever read has been printed in the page of comic books and nowhere else right yeah i don't mean to zara i don't mean to divert from comics but i posted a video in your discord under politics of an ex i see i've seen that video zara actually that video has made us round for a long time within uh, uh, certain communities um, of an ex kgb agent discussing the specific methods of manipulation of the american people by its government okay resume to comics <laughs> I've seen that video and if people you guys haven't seen that video uh, if you're into politics it's a good video to watch right um, propaganda is very powerful and crime does not pay is a piece of propaganda right and it's amazing right V for vendetta is on the other side of propaganda of corporate propaganda of totalitarian propaganda as on the other end of the spectrum right uh, amazing stuff right oh yeah comics hello lark how are you doing should i give you the lowdown on these comics let me give you the lowdown on these comics gang uh, we've been waiting for about 15 minutes so i'm gonna let you know what we got to choose to read here 
I'm going to go through it. You guys decide. And we're sort of, hopefully we'll see Elder, Elder God coming as well because I'm pretty sure Elder God's vote will be for the cult. <laughs> we'll see. I honest, honestly can't tell the difference between the Bible and comic books. Mythology. Jack Kirby's mythology was straight out. The guy knew his mythology. Neil Gaiman's mythology. World building. Really. It's amazing stuff. Oh, is that the John? That is the John Dillinger one. Oh, is that the John Dillinger book? Did you by chance ever watch the movie with uh, Johnny Depp played by? Yeah. Was it Johnny Depp that played him? Long time ago. Uh, and that's the reason I bought this book. It's got the John Dillinger cover on it. Uh, his face on it. I'll show you guys this. Uh, Flex Chicho. Uh, when you said that comics included propaganda, it reminded me of an interesting fact I learned, which is that a lot of Marvel Studios films are fun funded by the Pentagon on the terms that they include U.S. military. 100% Felix. 100% and a lot of TV shows and stuff like this like one of the things you'll see in TV shows and whatnot like I'm watching Doom Patrol it's a nice and it's basically based on Alan um, Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol right and we have Grant Morrison's Doom Patrol I was gonna almost include that in this set but we'll make it another set um, but if you're watching Doom Patrol just and any other TV series or TV movie or movie that comes out of Hollywood you will notice American flags in the background there was one scene in the Doom Patrol in the most recent no not most recent one I think episode three four but it's all in every episode there was one scene in Doom Patrol where there was I counted there was five American flags okay in that set that they set up and they were showing three different angles one of the angles has two of them another angle had the American flag in the background another angle had the colored American flag in the there is a ton of propaganda in Hollywood okay and as Felix says it is funded by the Pentagon by all the three letter uh, abbreviations of all the different organizations right and that goes true for a lot of movies produced in a lot of different countries they are funded by the centralized power to indoctrinate their citizens okay it doesn't uh, you have to keep that in mind by the way I wish it wasn't there because it distracts it takes away its programming a subliminal pro programming of the audience so if you're not you're not aware of it you do get programmed into in that mindset in that group think right but if you are aware of it it makes you appreciate how much propaganda exists within our societies right ripper is exo one barry windsor smith is barry windsor smith and dave laffin i believe i made notes here um da, 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 da. no not uh, dave laffin is bob layton and barry windsor smith not dave laffin laugh fam fam laugh fam I believe that's the way you pronounce it. Zara says, I choose me for Vendetta. I remember the Batman cult issues. Really good and dark. Really good and dark. And these could be half for the cheap, cheap. Okay, right now. They're actually cheaper now than they were in the 1990s, early 1990s, where when I bought these, right? Let me flip these over. Let's go through these. Felix propaganda is inescapable. But luckily, in the age of the internet, uh, we have access to the world information, so we aren't brainwashed by our governments as easily if we are aware, right? So, your choice. Oh, let me take down these guys. Jeez, I still have these guys up. Oopsie daisy. Sorry, gang. I should have taken in down these guys. Doop. Okay. I just got off for elder god your timing is good i was like I'm going where is he where is he <laughs> so gang these are our choices we got six books to choose from okay you guys decide so far we got one vote for v for vendetta but we'll go through this this is batman the cult okay not a stream without elder hope your friend is doing better man oh yeah I again uh, we found that out yesterday your friend's dad right this is the cult okay 
Jim Starlin, Bernie Wrightson, Bill Ray. Okay, so Jim Starlin's story and Jim Starlin is huge. Thanos, Infinity Gauntlet, Gamora, right? Uh, Dread Star, Bernie Wrightson. Uh, we're talking Swamp Thing, horror comics, huge, huge. Bill Ray, I don't know very much about. He did the coloring for this, and the letters for this is by John Constanza, and this is a four-issue limited series, okay? And it was prestige format, so it's thick. Fantastic read, one of the quintessential Batman comic books, and it introduces the character, and this is the first appearance of Deacon Joseph Blackfire, okay? That's issue number one. The next book, V for Vendetta. If you haven't heard about V for Vendetta, where have you been? Right? There's a movie out on it. V for Vendetta is Alan Moore and David Lloyd. Okay. This series made its first appearance, V for Vendetta, the story, in Warrior Number no. One in March 1982. Okay, it was black and white, and this is the color telling of that story, which came out in 1988 by DC Comics. Okay, and from issue number eight, it continued the story and kept on going with it, right? And if you want to know how brilliant this comic book is, I did a soft spoken or not soft spoken whisper reading of Valerie's letter, which is about a four minute video. I don't have the link right now. It's about a four minute video where we read Valerie's letter. One of the important moments in the comic book series as well as the movie, right? Outstanding moments, okay? Just got done with the insanity workout on the Scooby uh, pole workout. Might not make it through the stream without passing out. Nemo, how are you doing? That's okay, sleeping is not a bad thing right and sleeping is amazing for muscle building by the way if you do an insane workout eat protein have some carbs a little bit of carbs to deliver the protein to your muscles have a nap preferably in the sun vitamin d is good for the bones and good for the muscles okay next book excalibur number one okay this is chris chris claremont and alan davis okay as far as i'm concerned this is for me during the 1980s 1990s this was the x book that i looked forward to it was my favorite x book of the series okay of the x franchise that came out it was crazy fun it was over the top and it was chris chris claremont letting loose okay so I picked or you guys picked actually I made this a reader's choice uh, you guys picked these and by the way these three books the cult V for Vendetta and Excalibur were three of the books that you guys chose at the time where I put out the video I'll provide the link because I'm pretty sure a few more people have come in doop, doop, doop. let me do a little paste here's the link to reading set number four and if you go into the description of that video you'll see that we've already done some of the readings for some of the books that you guys picked and some of the books that i picked we're gonna make our way through that list okay i found a box where i put them all well not all there's some that are scattered around a little bit i need to find those again right but basically we're gonna start reading through that list okay cheryl how are you doing i can't believe i missed that video the V for Vendetta one, the Valerie's letter, it's a nice reading. It's it, and it's an important reading. Okay, it's an important reading. Excalibur, Elder God. Excalibur, good times indeed. Definitely my favorite Claremont book. You're, is it Ripper? Serious? It's rare that I come across people that say Excalibur is their favorite Claremont book. For me, it is. Uh, I love the X-Men Claremont that he did in the early 1980s, right? But this was phenomenal. He just let loose, right? It just feels like he let loose. He was allowed to do whatever he wanted to do, 
And it was fantastic. And Alan Davis, really. These are very good condition. Very good condition. Lark. It's been five years insane. Excalibur. I have an encyclopedia of the X-Men and the part about Excalibur has that cover on the picture. I think that one will be my vote. Okay. Yes, the letter. I'll be searching for that. Yeah, look it up, Cheryl. Yeah, you'll love it. By the way, Cheryl, I've heard uh you're you're okay with being a mod. Are you okay with being a mod for us on Twitch? If it's a yes, I'm gonna make you a mod right now. Are you are you cool with that, Cheryl? Dark hooky Chicho, I hope you and your family are well. Excited about the comics. Cheryl, you are now. Let me do a mod. Mod and Cheryl. Doop. Let's see if it does it. Granted mod privileges. Cheryl, welcome to our little clan. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Welcome to the awesome, awesome Ripper. Absolutely, uh, Achicho, absolutely. I love the X Men stuff too, but with my age, the Jim Lee uh, rip was my X Men. Uh, Excalibur, I was uh, uh, able to jump in at issue number one and love the humor, probably because I was younger and I also have family in the UK, so it felt home to me. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I love the humor, it's the humor that really got it for me. I just witnessed the christening, I just was in the christening, Spruce said. Awesome, Cheryl, you got a sword. Fun. Thanks all. Cheryl says, I have to leave early today, camp day, but it looks like things will be covered. Things will be covered. Thank you very much. Enjoy your camp day. Enjoy your camp day. So, Suki, Soiki. Hello from Singapore. Hello, Singapore. How are you doing? Salutations from the west coast of Canada. Excalibur early. It came out uh, in 1988, I believe. Uh, 1988. Okay, the first appearance was uh, 1980. I have it here. Uh, first appearance was 1980. Uh, let me find it. First appearance, uh, 1988 as well. I made little notes for myself. And the first appearance, this isn't the first appearance. The first appearance was in Excalibur. The sword is drawn. It was sort of a one shot that leads up into the story arc. Okay. Gubble, gubble, gubble. <laughs> Fun. Run, run. Jim Lee's the best. Jim Lee's was good. Jim Lee's was good too. When he took over with uh, issue, what was it? Oh, I can't remember the numbers now. Great to catch. When he took over the Uncanny X Men and he started his own X Men series, right? Michael Doluna. Dol Dol Great to catch another stream. Hope things are well for you in chat. Doing well. Thank you very much xo man of war from valiant comics first appearance of xo man of war a very very important issue from valiant comics one of their flagship characters okay and hello daniel how are you doing one of their logic how are you doing one of their flagship characters it is extremely unique character a lot of people confuse it with Iron Man, but it ain't Iron Man. This is bigger. This is, in my opinion, better. This is the living armor, right? I'm not going to give you guys too much uh, info on this regarding what the story arc is about and stuff, okay? But this character is created by Jim Shooter, Steve Englehart, and the art by Bob Layton and Barry Windsor Smith and Barry Windsor Smith uh, should oh the cover is Laffin looks like the cover is actually Dave Laffin if I'm reading that correctly the signature but it I thought it was Barry Windsor Smith we'll find out when we flip through it okay we'll read the fine print and the fine print for these were actually on the back of the the last page I believe lark what a 
good era uh, the uh, the late 80s and early 90s of comics indeed some people trash talk a man it was a phenomenal period phenomenal period even though overall in all fairness there was some hit and misses during the following years for sure but it late 80s mid 80s to mid 90s allowed a lot of independent creators to just flourish right really it was phenomenal way better than iron man exo <laughs> way better than iron man <laughs> like i agree with river <laughs> once i started reading exo i didn't i barely read iron man by the way okay not trash talking iron man good but exo rocks rocks ripper their art is almost identical that's why i had asked um because i can't remember i don't own exo oh you don't own exo number one i'll have to look uh, we'll check out the uh, when we read it anyway and if we don't read it today we'll read it i'll look it up okay crime does not pay darth dart darthuki darthuki chicho what is the best way to support uh support comics uh, buy flagship material from DC and Marvel or go to indie labels and independent store storytellers uh, I would say independent right the big two is fine uh, Marvel because it's Disney I have my issues with Disney a lot of issues with Disney um, so I hold back on that a little bit DC is the same deal to a certain degree for me I buy more independence by a long shot than Marvel and DC like really right uh, my eBay buys and stuff like this I buy I do buy a lot of Marvel DC older stuff and whatnot as investment as interest as loves that I like but as far as newer comic books go I buy a ton of independence like way more independence <laughs> rippers to some I'm trashing Iron Man this is crime does not pay one of the more uh, popular comic books from the golden age of comics right at a time they you know they would they would be printing millions of issues of this right and this is crime does not pay is one of the sought after comics you can still get it fairly on the cheap okay and the publisher is Lev Gleason take a look Lev Gleason right and there is um, they publish some amazing comic books the covers are some of these issues are phenomenal like crazy there's there's stuff about people being electrocuted people being murdered so like there's stuff there that made people uh, freak out a little bit right and this guy Charles Charles Biro okay he did a lot of the writing for crime does not pay and Lee Lee uh, Lev Gleason publishing right they did stuff like Daredevil but the golden age Daredevil not the Daredevil from Marvel Comics but there was another Daredevil that came out uh, they published Airboy uh, they published a lot of more mature comic books and they were selling like millions of these issues right and we've read um, from i believe uh no 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 the wanted comics that we read wasn't uh lev gleason publishing that was uh oh, i forget the publisher for that period but we've done readings like this and i've been meaning to do a crime does not pay reading i'm not sure if we've done one yet but uh this is on the list okay this is on the list the past five years including right now has been, has never been a better time for independence really independent comic books are absolutely the bomb they are amazing what they're putting out okay but yeah crime does not they love it love it love it chicho those 50s books knew how to grab attention on their covers for sure especially for not being superhero books yeah and this is one of the ones that wasn't a superhero book that sold a lot okay and this book came out in 1952 crime does not pay Okay. and this guy here John Herbert Dillinger check it out 
it's got a John Dillinger story to it armed and dangerous move with caution John Herbert Dillinger haha <laughs> and and by the way EXO and crime does not pay from the comic book video that I linked up set number four these were a couple that I picked okay and this one kit Colt outlaw kit Colt this is a comic book haul that we just recently recently did the cover is Jack Kirby okay uh, pencils by Jack Kirby uh, inks by Dick Harris the story is by Stan Lee and the art is by mainly by Dick Harris I believe okay I got the notes here uh, Dick Harris and Jack Keller okay actually Jack Keller did most of the artwork here and Dick Harris did one of the stories in this okay so Jack Keller um, and all the stories are by Stan Lee okay so we've been going for 34 minutes gang what are we reading your choice you guys choose which one we're gonna read okay cult v for vendetta excalibur exo crime does not pay or kid cult speaking of dillinger check out the chicho live new poster video that features dillinger escape plan yeah dillinger escape plan yeah yeah and if you get a chance to see dillinger escape plan what go to dillinger escape plan show high energy okay so we got one vote for exo it's a horse race v for vendetta we got two v for vendettas xo they're tied three xo v v four for v <laughs> oh my things are being left oh x how are you doing of course you're gonna pick x oh i'm taking the wrong one over this is Exca xo excalibur has got one crime has got one so so far we got four for XO and four for V for Vendetta. Let's bring these down. These two are tied right now. Four four one, and one. For crime does not pay. V for Vendetta gets five. Excalibur, I mean. Oh, you went Excalibur. So one comes down, two goes up. We got two more for Excalibur. So we got four for xo three for excalibur five for v for vendetta so far okay well let her run people decide for another minute we'll give it another minute gang we might be going for v for vendetta here <laughs> the horse race <laughs> laughing up the horse race since i have to leave I could be persuaded to change my vote if we can be read later for sure uh, Cheryl we're gonna read all of these right these are the these are literally the next six books we're gonna read right uh, unless I you know we do some comic book hauls then we introduce one more random or whatnot right but these are in the read right so Cheryl can be persuaded <laughs> to change no to me Elder God, no to V. You don't want V. Do we take negative votes? I love you, cooking video. Ah, Dorothy, those leaves look absolutely delicious. Fantastic recipe. XO, we got another one for XO. So, what do we got? Five and five? V for Vendetta and XO? We gotta, we gotta run a poll on this. I gotta figure out how to do a poll uh, live polling and just get people to click and do the votes remind me mods on discord and i'll look into how to do this or if you know how to do this let me know and we do uh, use twitch yeah not sure how to do no to v also no to v. <laughs> i mean twitter oh we could use twitter but i'd like to be doing this live i don't want it pre-decided right so we got another no for v we got two negatives for V. Can I vote for crime again? <laughs> Is ballot box stopping a thing? In the United States, could be. In certain other parts of the world, could be. It's just that. It's just backspace poll. Backspace. I mean, it's really easy. Backspace. 
So we do a backspace and then pull. Okay, I'll have to test it out when we're not doing a str stream, just in chat, just to see what happens. We, uh, Spider Man, remind me for the next one, comic book reading, and I'll give it a run. So we're tied right now. X O and V. What are we going with, gang? Horse race greater than pole. Horse race greater than pole. Gina, how are you doing? How is life? Hope you're doing well. By the way, Gina, Cheryl, uh, it was, uh, I asked my mom. She was confused. So no vote there. No vote there. Start, 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 Juliet. We'll do. Uh, we had a little talk. I had a little talk with Elder God on Discord. And he mentioned uh, that Cheryl uh, would be a great flip a coin chicho I'm not feeling XO elder God says I asked the entire internet which one and they all just <laughs> flip a coin I didn't bring any coins I didn't bring any dice <laughs> hello there Sorogs how are you doing uh, Gina and Cheryl I talk with elder God uh, on discord and elder god mentioned that sure uh cheryl uh, would be great to have us as a mod because cheryl you've been here a lot your your contribution the talking the conversation we love you gina we love you okay gina just so you know we just made cheryl a mod uh, we offered a mod ship to cheryl on twitch and she said yes so cheryl is a mod gina i thought it would be a good idea to see if you'd be into it as well uh not to take the glory away from uh cheryl cheryl you know the, you know i don't know if there is or not current poll which book oh look at this oh look at this we're getting votes in nice oh yeah horse race bigger than poll gina would you like to be a mod on our uh twitch and i think cheryl said no to the discord mod but gina if you're okay being a mod on twitch or discord i would like to respectfully decline thank you for the offer i am most humble awesome gina no worries about declining i know it's responsibility having that sword and personally i don't know if I, i'm into modding i'm only modding one channel and there's nobody there which is action for assange all right i just wanted to put that out there okay how many do we have are people voting oh we got five for excalibur five for excalibur how did excalibur get the more votes look at them look at the polling go four for xo five for excalibur so far crimes got one v's only got two now v's been demoted what's going on we got six seven for excalibur what is going on horse race is different than polling we got seven for Excalibur gang I get I'm not gonna vote in this so I'm not putting my vote in and is there a time limit on this poll oh it looks like there's a little countdown on this we got four for XO seven for Excalibur three for V two for crime poor cult nobody's voting for cult or kid kid cult I guess that's a good thing I sandwiched them between it right let's check this out what's the chat doing Excalibur is unbeaten poor cult I know poor kid cult poll only lasts 10 minutes my name is Gina I love to thank for the offer badass your name is Gina thank you spider-man did you put the poll together rigged <laughs> who put up the poll i don't know who put up the poll i'm my bet would my guess would be elder god oh azare did awesome Zare. thank you very much awesome i abstain but i'm a, on pins and needles uh, why you're abstaining uh cheryl you should vote oh v is getting four so v and xo are tied right now uh by the way the video is going to go up and bit shoot on youtube so whichever one you want red you should vote away Gina or Cheryl sorry 
Are we going to run the poll for 10 minutes? No, I think it's decided. XO. Thumbs up. We do. We do. We do. Oh, Elder God, you were going to. I got my 50s fixed with Mad. Yeah, the Mad was amazing read. The Mad, Mad was fantastic. Got to go in 10. If they're all being read, I can't be patient. Maybe. You can be patient? Okay. Can I have some homemade uh, buckthorn liqueur, please, Chicho? Sea buckthorn? Oh, it's very good. Backslash. It opens up all kinds of options. Oh, wow. I'll try that next time. Okay, gang. We're going with Excalibur. We go with Excalibur. We got seven votes for it. And these two got four. Four a pop. we do we're taking it down okay these gang are gonna be red next time or one of them will be next time let me bring these books here <laughs> check this out check this out where's my issue number two I brought issue two three and the first appearance of Excalibur here as well okay check it out check it out let me set this stuff up I'm just gonna give a quick little intro to this right uh, and I've read this issue I don't know a handful of times but a long time ago like in the 1990s I might have read it in early 2000 one more time but I can't remember Doop. let me hold it like this so you see it Recal Florida. <laughs> what we oh, we got eight for Excalibur. Nice, nice. Excalibur it is. Chicho reading Excalibur equals perfect end to the weekend. Nice. Nightcrawler always creeped me out a little. Cool design though. Very cool. I love Nightcrawler. Really. It would have been cult for me. Then I saw Excalibur. Oh, really? Excalibur supersedes cult. Elder God. I thought for sure you were going to vote for cult. I thought for sure. Fun. Okay, gang. What I'm gonna do, and Cheryl, uh, thanks for sticking around. Thank you for joining our little group. Gina, thank you for showing up for a stream. Uh, appreciate, uh, respect uh, your vote. Okay. Uh, I can't read since I, uh, I haven't read since I was a child. So this is awesome, awesome, awesome. Gang, I'm gonna turn off notifications. And I'm gonna take this video out. Where's our chat? Uh, and I'm gonna doop, and I'm gonna turn off the chat as well. Okay, so by chat, it's not gonna pop up. Doop. And I'm gonna take down this video, and we're gonna do a reading of Excalibur, Excalibur. And this is. Um, let me take this off I'll see you guys after the reading okay. let me center this baby hello ace how are you doing hope you're doing well hope you're doing well insidious boy hello hello so what's our time frame what are we at 50 minutes in wow 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 hi everyone welcome just in case I end up cutting this uh, we're doing a live stream comic book reading right and we ran a little poll and we had six books up to be able to read and out of the six six books that we had chat that we had on twitch that we we're live streaming on twitch 
decided to read Excalibur number one. Okay. And this is one of the books that we had up um, as a choice for uh, viewers, readers, subscribers choice video for reading set number four. There was uh, 32 books that we decided to read uh, when we put out that video. 16 of the books were books that I chose and I went through a short box, actually maybe a long box and a short box where I offered up a whole bunch of other books that people could choose to read. And this was one of the books that people chose to read. Okay. And this is Excalibur number one. This book came out in 1988 and it's written by uh, Chris Claremont and the art and cover are done by Alan Davis and Paul Neary. Okay. And Chris Claremont and Alan Davis are really the instigators of Excalibur. Uh, they're the creators of Excalibur and Excalibur made their first appearance not in Excalibur number one but in Excalibur the sword is drawn it was a one shot that came out in 1988 as well okay and this story leads into Excalibur number one now the only first appearance we have in Excalibur number one is a character called widget which is sort of an alien little alien dragon that is Kitty Pride's uh, sort of pet, but he's not a pet really. He's a companion. Okay, they mentioned that he's a pet, but he's not. He's a pet, but he's not a pet. He's one of the main characters in Excalibur. Okay, and we ran a little poll on uh, on Twitch, and the poll results are just coming in that almost fifty percent of people voting wanted Excalibur read. There was all in the next reading. We'll. Uh, definitely read one of the other five that were left over right and the characters here are this is Rachel Summers one of my favorite characters from the Marvel Universe okay and she goes by the name of Phoenix really and it's from a he's the she's the child of um, um, what do you call it uh, Jean Grey and um, Oh, his name escapes me. How could his name escape me? Jean Grey and the side, not cyborg, cyclops, cyclops of Scott Summers. Thank you very much, cyclops. The chat is helping me out with the names, right? And this is Kitty Pride, and that's Nightcrawler. This is Captain Britain okay and this is Megan and Megan is one of the coolest cats there is she is endearing you end up falling in love with her in this series really she's sort of like an elfish character she's super sincere super kind like one of the kindest heart there is and she's sort of a shapeshifter type of character okay and as far as I'm concerned, in uh, I mentioned this earlier in the chat, Excalibur was one of my, well, it was my favorite X-related book, okay, from the 1980s, late 1980s, because 1988 this came out, late 1980s and early 1990s, right? Because the humor in this character is absolutely phenomenal. Chris Claremont, which is huge, both Chris Claremont and Alan Davis are huge creators, right? Chris Claremont really defined the X-Men and Chris Claremont's work in Uncanny X-Men in the early 1980s, I think late 1970s, early 1980s was a pinnacle, it was phenomenal, fantastic. But in my opinion, Chris Claremont was allowed to let loose when he started the Excalibur series and this really shows the chaos that he is capable of okay 
<laughs> it is absolutely phenomenal. And these are the characters, the main villains. <laughs> and these are amazing characters. They're sort of werewolf, ghost wolves or something like this. Um, you'll get a feel for what they are. And there's a, in this series, there's a lot of crazy time traveling, alternate reality traveling uh, journeys that these five or six characters go through with Widget. We don't see Widget in the cover of this one. Okay. And this is, like I mentioned, is the first appearance of Excalibur. And I looked this up and um, my comic shop, I didn't know this actually. This is issue number one. There was it's only a one shot, right? But there was two different versions, first printings of this issue. One of them doesn't have the price tag. This one has the price tag. And it's supposed to be more common than the one that doesn't have the price tag. Okay. So I have a couple of copies of this, two or three copies of this. I don't know if they all have the price tag that I have or not. But if they don't, I guess... Uh, you know if i really feel like it i might to to be a completionist i might have to try track down the first appearance of excalibur in this one one shot which is a thicker read you can tell right um, of the one that doesn't have the price tag so if you have this issue you should check to see if it's the price tag version the 325 uh, version or the no price tag version and the second printings of these I believe there's two second printings one of them had a 350 oops one of them has a 350 price tag us and the other one has a 450 price tag us okay so welcome to the realm of comics there's a whole bun bunch of different variants of a lot of comic books that are either misprints or there's things missing from them or there's specials or whatever they are it takes a lifetime to try to figure out what's what really right so we're gonna end up reading this and I just thought I would bring now I have the complete run of this all the way up to issue number 50 plus and this series ran for 125 issues it went all the way to 1998 I believe right this is the cover of issue number two and <laughs> it's phenomenal right these characters are absolutely fan fantastic fantastic okay i'm not going to give any spoilers as to what it is they do right uh, but super fun super fun okay here's the issue number three and what does the what does the thing say what have you done with kitty burp now i'll leave it up to you for you to decide what they have done to kitty okay and kitty is this character right here right kitty pride so rachel phoenix is asking one of them what have they done with kitty and the other werewolf thing is going burp right and megan is looking for kitty and i believe captain america captain britain is looking for kitty and nightcrawler is looking for kitty and he's going burp and his tummy is pretty big so what have they done with kitty Right. Awesome. <laughs> this is Excalibur number three, right? And the covers for Excalibur were fantastic. Fantastic. Captain Burton versus Juggernaut, right? <laughs> and Captain Britain's been knocked down. Captain Britain's been knocked down. Check this out. And he's going and there's more where that came from. And he's like super strong, right? He flies and stuff like this. But the juggernaut is the juggernaut nothing can stop him right so the covers of these things are super funny and i brought out one of my favorite covers of this series really i don't know why <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> but this cover just i when i saw it on the shelves when it came out I loved it. I bought multiple copies of this because I was laughing my ass off, right? Prepare to die. <laughs> prepare to die. And we're talking, prepare to die. This little dude, I mean, look at his muscle. Look at his, look at his, like, what do you, what do you call the muscles on the butt cheeks? That's like so strong. He's going forward, like, 
power pose, right? Really, it's a power pose. Look at that, Alan Davis. Right? Power pose, prepare to die. And he's saying that to one of the most powerful creatures, powerful people in the Marvel Universe, Phoenix, Rachel Summers, right? <laughs> They're all cowering. <laughs> They're all cowering, right? Fantastic. Oh, wait a second. I have the names wrong. This is Widget, right? This is Lockheed, right? I don't know if this... Actually, I don't think this is the first appearance of Lockheed. Lockheed is... Uh, kitty prize dragon okay widget is the this thing here it's the first appearance of widget in excalibur number one i get my names all mixed up right fantastic cover look at captain britain's face he's 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 scared look at that oh my god look at that right i just wanted to share that and this, of course, is the first appearance of Excalibur. And uh, Excalibur sort of came together after uh, the fall of the mutants, when the X-Men were sort of disbanded and everyone split up because of the chaos created in the fall of the mutants. And some of them went to Britain and became Excalibur, joined the British uh, super team, I guess. Okay, so let's have a read through Excalibur number one. Okay, I'm just gonna crack this open. And as far as grade goes, this would be near mint. Like, unless there's some defects that I didn't see. At the time when we were buying comics, uh, we didn't, you know, I wasn't, I just bought comics for the love of comics right I I would try to make sure you know I didn't get anything that was seriously uh, you know deformed and major flaws in them and stuff but when I was buying new comics and even now I don't really go through them like mad trying to make sure they're 9.8 or whatever it is I buy comics because I want them in my collection and as far as I'm concerned uh, I'm not chasing 9.8s or 10s and this thing would be you know there's a little bit of let's see if this thing focuses there. there's a little bit of ding there I guess so that would make it a near mint right so it wouldn't be a 9.8 maybe it's a 9.6 and it's a beautiful cover and look at this the back cover beautiful and i really like the rachel character rachel summers phoenix right and this is by alan davis and neary right paul neary let me show you right. alan davis and paul neary okay and if you want to read phenomenal X book series from the beginning of a story arc and get a feel for what's going on, like again, this is a beautiful book. This would be a nine point nine point four at least, most likely a nine point six. Okay. If you want to read a phenomenal series, uh, Excalibur is it, and you can buy this series on the cheap, cheap, cheap. war wolves they're not werewolves they're war wolves of london okay now we're not going to flip through this book we're just going to start reading okay we'd like to shed a little light on your upcoming hits ultra games look at this teenage mutant ninja turtles oh and there's a skateboarding game and uh don't know what that character is for that game should we read this let's read the ad why not ad gaming ad in comic books from 1988 at the birth of the at the gaming industry right ultra 
the hottest new check this out now i don't know if ultra games is still around the gaming people should know that ultra the hottest new game uh, generator in town is about to unleash three of the most thrilling games of all time take size with teenage mutant ninja turtles and a nunchucken karate chopping sewer fight through the villain ravaged streets of new york coming in october right and new york in the 1990s 1980s was a pretty dangerous place really there was a lot of crime there it was street crime right now new york there's a lot of wall street crime banker crime uh, corporate crime it it i i would argue that there is way more crime now in new york than there ever was it's just power crime corporate crime right coming in october then slash past black-hearted knights and rescue beautiful maidens in defender of the crown and unbelievable movie like adventure with tons of strategy sword fights and nearly 30 animated scenes screens coming in november cool and finally cruise down back alleys in skate or die a knockdown drag drag out multi-event spectacular that pits you against a friend uh, a friend or bionic lester in the free wheeling jam and joust coming in october so get psyched for ultra's best and be prepared to see video games in a whole new light for more information on ultra's great line of games send your name age and address to ultra games 240 jerry street wooddale illinois very cool remember no internet at the time right no website here is there a website no ultra games is a trademark or ultra software corporation skate or die is a registered trademark for electronic arts so it's electronic arts teenage mutant ninja turtles is a registered trademark of mirage studios that's what the fine print says here and what's the fine print here before we get into the reading let's read the fine print excalibur volume one number one october 1988 published by marvel comics a new world a new world company james e galton president stanley publisher michael hobson group vice president milton chef chefman vice president production uh, production office of publication 387 park avenue south new york new york 10015 published monthly copyright 1988 by marvel entertainment group all rights res reserved price dollar 50 per copy in the u.s and two dollars in canada subscription rate 18 dollars for 12 issues canada and foreign 24 dollars printed in the u.s no similarity between any of the names characters persons and or institutions in this um, magazine with those of any living or dead person or institution is intended and any such similarity which may exist is purely coincidental this periodical may not be sold except by authorized dealers and is sold subject to the conditions that it shall not be sold or distributed with any part of its cover or markings removed nor in a mutilated condition excalibur including our prominent characters featured in the in this issue and the distinctive likeliness thereof are trademarks of marvel marvel entertainment group incorporated this is a beautiful copy by the way and <laughs> this is widget appearing so check this out should we do a read let's see what chris claremont has to tell us the story with alan davis right and let's check this out so let me bring this up here's the credits right chris claremont is the writer alan davis pencils paul neary is the inker tom or 
Zechowski letter, Glynis Oliver Colorus, and Nushonetti and Terry Cavanaugh editors, Tom DeFalco, editor in chief, created by Chris Claremont and Alan Davis, logo designed by Ken Lopez. Ken Lopez did the logo design. Nice logo design, by the way. Excalibur. And of course, the name is taken from Excalibur, the mythical, not mythical, but UK. I don't know if it's folklore, if it's, uh, what do you call it? Considered to be legit part of history. And it is, I believe. Right. Let's have a read. Let's have a read. Focusing hard time. There it is. Let's see if we can maintain the focus. Lendon Damon in the Highlands of Scotland, a haunted place. On a haunted night, Gateway Technologies, we open the door to tomorrow. War Wolves in London. Give you a full panel of this. War Wolves of London. That's the shadow of the thing. Ah, look at this guy. His name is Tweedledope, but that isn't important. What he's doing, that's what that's what matters. Hoik, hoik, hoik. Scrunch. Glupa, glupa, glupa. Bloop. Slurp. And now, the latest on the London hostage situation, where it's, it's reliably reported that Captain Britain together with a band of costume adventurers known as Excalibur has been squirk ha ha takes it and dumps it into this soup that he's making Check, check. He's wondering. No. The crazy gang. Oh, he's part of the crazy gang. Look at that. Sigh. Fui says. Throws it away. There's a poster on the wall, the wanted poster. Doop. Ok, grumble ok, mumble ok, muti ok, nashi ok. Pink. Meanwhile, so this is widget giving spoilers but that's what his name is meanwhile what do we got some 500 miles roughly southward in the haunted capital 
on this haunted realm. There's a war wolves. These guys right there. Check it out. I must be daft turning to you and a pair of teenagers. There's a detective saying that. One of trained police officers at hand. Captain Britain, Shadowcat and Phoenix are no more ordinary teens, Commander Thomas, than I am an ordinary man. That meant to be reassuring, the captain asks. Trust me, they this this way is best, Captain Britain. You better be right, Bucko. Any hostage, any hostages get even scratches, let alone killed, and will both of us be hung? So this is a hostage situation. Wallies. Alas, your age should be home in bed, not galvanating about rooftops and three in the flippin' morning. I'm the policeman, miss, not you, the cop says. Right. Shadowcat, we have our cue. Captain Britain says it's time to move. wait hold on you can't stroof sea sarge no need to worry and kitty pride can phase herself where she's in like she's not solid right so she can go through walls and sort of float okay and she's a tech genius it has a sort of a way with electronics in our way we're as professionals as you guys and in our time kitty says and in our time my partners here and i have helped save the world at least twice she says so a gang of street thugs is really no great big deal thanks for worrying though and kitty can hold on to someone and phase them through whatever matter they need to right that's sweet see ya down they go look at this ad we gotta pause for these gaming ads look at this look ma no more wires freedom stick wireless remote control compatible with nintendo sega atari commodore I think I have one of these, a version of these in my gaming collection. Somewhere, maybe. Let's continue with the story. That's sweet. See ya. Oh, werewolf. Uh oh. Look at this. She fell through the roof like a ghost. And she had her friend, the redhead, could read thoughts. Impossible. And yet, I saw. What a wild, wonderful world, this glory. Right you are, boy, Sunny. Glory to Max. 
I'm proud you should be too. Wow. Ain't every skin gets cast as a war wolf. Ray Mole Holland. Good man, good cop, husband and father with all the dreams a man can have. Some fulfilled, some not, but he never minded. That's the way life is. You play the hand you're dealt. So that's it. He's done. In a twinkle, in a trice, that's all stripped from him. In a twinkling, in a trice, that's all stripped away from him. So there's nothing left of substance. There's only the shell. A little worn about the edges, the werewolf says not the most stylish I've seen but the fit is perfect and me I'm the kind he's just skin now the cop look at this New England comics ordering catalog how to order books Check it out. Even back then, G.I. Joe number one was going for 30 bucks. Where's the silent issue? Silent issue is 21. 12 dollars. I believe so anyway. Wow, this would be cool to look at later. So what happened the werewolves got the skin of the cop right. oh here's a sausage situation seconds later nearby Picking my thoughts, partner, such as they are. Ouch. I'm doing to, I'm going to peek through this wall. So basically, I'm just going to fill you guys in just in, in case you don't know uh, the story. So Rachel, this is Kitty, but Rachel is, can read minds and she's crazy powerful. She basically has the same powers as Jean Grey and Phoenix, really, right? So she's, Kitty is looking through the wall to see what's going on inside and Phoenix is reading her mind and seeing as well what's going on. Scoop up the location. You see what I see? Clear as starlight. Glad, glad you're, we're side linked by touch. This many people their basic elemental emotional thoughts create so much psychic static it's murder on my telepathic shields my telekinesis should work fine though that's what Rachel's saying I'll use it to smash their gun ah Rachel Was that one of the hostage takers says?
Rachel just collapses. Oh, crub. What hit her? Something psychic. Only caught the fringe. She took the blunt. And my head's killing me, Kitty says. Face free of the wall just in time. Couldn't maintain Rachel's intangibility. She's out cold, poor thing. Voices, the goons. Uh-oh. Oh, look at Rachel. She's crumbled up on the ground here. What's all this then? One of the hostage people says. The takers. Oi, Bertie, you stupid git. I thought you searched the place. Wow. Cool, Reg. She ain't half a looker. Keep your mind on business, Toby. You can play later, he says. Think fast, kiddo. Improvise brilliantly before anything else goes wrong. Those guys sound right on the right on the edge I need to spook them but not so much they'll open fire on the hostages here goes nothing oh uh, Saints above look at their faces they're like what the hell look at the hostages they're all looking up she's coming out of the wall as a ghost who disturbs my rest? Who disturbs my rest? Sid, stay cool, Rag. Nothing to be afraid of. We're seeing things, is all. <laughs> Lost, just they're like freaking out. <laughs> uh, we're out of here, man. It's funny. Stay back. Those who do violence, don't come near me. Shall perish by violence, Kitty says. I'm not fooling. I mean it. I'll shoot. You will be cast from the world of men into the abyss, shadow realms of eternal torments. But thum. Oh, there goes Captain Britain. And the police are going in. I knew it. I knew mm -hmm. something. Muck up. All units move in. Hit the swine as hard and fast as you can. Crikey, Captain Britain. They weren't just stories. He, he really can't fly. says come on bozo look at me stay focused on me shoot at me kitty's thinking oh the guy's going for the gun my gun blessed saints preserve me i've become a ghost oh he can't grab it look at that right his hand is phasing through the gun That's because Kitty's touching him. What befell one can befall befell all unless you surrender your your weapons and re renounce your evil ways. It's working, she's thinking. I guess criminals are a cowardly superstitious lot, she thinks. They're all dropping the guns. Look at that. 
Or one of them is anyway. Is the other guy? One did so far. Comes Phoenix. Here comes Phoenix. Look at that. You hurt the lady with Excalibur. One warning is all you get, she says. She's pissed. Boom. Destroys the guns. Look at the artwork. You can still see the expression on their faces, even through the masks, right? Very cool. Very cool. Bill. Ah, the kitty's thinking, show off. Look who's talking. Ah, she's reading her mind, right? They're psychically linked. another comic book subscription service Canadian service available soon oh that's nice that's for us Canadians to be able to buy comic books through subscriptions right back to the comic East Coast comics more comics for sale <laughs> Check this out. Let's continue the story. Let's read the story. No more distractions. This is the police. Nobody move. Captain Britain says, look at him just bust through the wall. Sorry, steal sorry to steal your thunder cap. Party's already over. Bad guys never knew what hit him, Kitty says. It wasn't a ghost. It was a girl. They're both girls. Muties, I bet. Figure that out, did you? <laughs> All by yourself. That's the crowd <laughs> in the background. <laughs> oh, look at the gangsters. The kidnappers. Was there trouble? We heard a gunshot, Captain Britain asks. Nothing we couldn't handle. Right, Phoenix? Right? She still has a headache. Nigel Frobisher. Merchant banking. The guy comes over with the, with the glass of, with a drink. Wanted to express my gratitude privately. Please go away, Rachel says. Your lips say that, my darling. So do mine. Captain Britain steps in. <laughs> Go away. <sighs> yeah, he's spilling his drink too. Take a look. A little bit of spillage there. Yep. A little nervous. A little nervous. Captain Britain can be a little brute at times. Are you all right, Phoenix? I'll manage. Something happened, Cap. One moment, everything was fine. The next, it was a uh, tough. I was dying. It was a thought. It was though I was dying. The guy in the background. Ponzi stuck up, arrogant sod. Who's he think he is? Throwing his weight around. So Rachel's still hurting. But it wasn't me dying. I mean, it was someone else. Their last terrible, despairing psychic scream. And now, no matter how hard I scan, I can't find even a residue trace of their person's thoughts. It's as though the mind I touched never even existed she says that's probably the cop that the werewolf consumed right a 
a while away in time and space ugly is but available is and right size is come on popsy you silly cow get a wiggle on night won't last forever Ah, oh, these are the war wolves right there in the shadows right that's who's talking right there see that oh and there's another wanted poster of those uh, characters that we saw at the beginning right with the monkey guy cool just the little things in comics right tonk tonk whoa the guy's scared freaks him out constable crikey you didn't have a you didn't have a give me a fright apologies lad but in all honesty you've good reason to be scared oh look at that that's the guy who's put on the skin of the previous cop right look at his face jacko petri no time to scream the other war wolf consumes them. So Rachel Summers does it for him. Aye. One Merlin muse. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm here, Ray. You're safe. Again, kitty. It happened again. Rachel says Jacko cool am I so late you've gone and called out the coppers on me ducks just passing the time miss but as always popsy my sweet you're well worth the wait he says Look at the grin on their faces. Warwolf. Ah, oh, there's X Men right there. Havoc, Rogue, whole bunch of the other X Men. There's Colossal. Another night at Merlin Muse they were her best friends but she never respected them more than on the day they died always figured we X-Men let charm lives that no matter what we pulled through live forever silly girls hopes that joke sure was on me and you Doug Ramsey K pride is crying what does the letter say dear kitty thank you for your kind thoughts and we both know and it covers it up Doug Ramsey there's kitty just crying determined to pull your own weight with with the new mutants even if it killed you darn you darn you all this isn't fair in our time we face the worst villains in the world or is this kitty yeah it must be kitty oh here are some of the worst villains in the world worst villains in the world in the universe and beat them all how is it the heroes die while they remain and with the x-men gone they probably figured there's no one worth the name to stand against them
Are they right? Are we fooling ourselves with Excalibur? Are they right? Are we fooling ourselves with Excalibur? Kitty, oh, scared her. Who is that? It's gotta be Calvin. No, no, it's not. Oh, no, it is. Brian, that's Captain Britain. Brian, didn't mean to jump, so you startled me. My apologies. How are you feeling? I seem to get, no get now from the strain of counteracting uh, my phasing powers and keeping my body solid. You've been spending a lot of time down here in my old workshop. Rachel and I were getting worried, he says. When I'm working on a project, Rachel says you're something of an electronics whiz. I wish Inspired Tinkerer is more like it. So was I when I was in school. He says thinking of those days now it seems like ancient history same with me remembering life before I joined the X-Men you still miss them always will I have business in town and Rachel seeing a play why don't you join us rain check okay I pride myself on finishing what I start hey Brian how's Ray doing as well as it can be expected he says thank heaven they've been no more than the three of those strange seizures the last few days she'd be better though if if she could determine what their cause was so three would refer to the girlfriend that came over right in the alleyway so they took her as well of course maybe captain britain i can do something about that Kitty's thinking she's making a little gadget. And they live in a lighthouse, which is super cool. That's their headquarters. The west coast of England. Nightcrawler. Nice. Did you really pitch pitch my darling Brian off our lighthouse into the sea? It seemed a thing to do at the time. Oh, I'd give anything to have seen that. <laughs> Although, if I had been there, I suppose I'd have had to stop you. You never know, Megan. You might have helped. Haha, <laughs> giggle. What a thought. And the relationship between Nightcrawler and Megan is fantastic. So endearing. beautiful this is the observatory our living room spectacular but does captain britain approve of this plan to turn your home into excalibur's headquarters it's a splendid idea megan says he won't mind a bit haha <laughs> if you say so check out nightcrawler's face he's laughing clock clock now that is what I call what does he call that a bet <laughs> now that is what I call a bet he says and it's not for you sigh pardon the clutter I had to clear out the lower levels to make room for you and Kitty and Rachel.
like some tea love some thank you he says you know it's a lighthouse this lighthouse is bigger than it looks nightcrawler says there's plenty of room but if brian doesn't know we're moving in it could mean trouble he thinks megan he's gone downstairs Where is this door lead to lead the one opposite the entrance front entrance storage cellar she says worth a look nightcrawler glory look at that what's in here oh no look at the languages vajin majin quin rasin Bajan Kutaman. Who are these characters? Very mythical alien. No need to pro no need to provide translation, mine heron. I get the message. I know when I'm not wanted. Whoa. And he's phasing out. Ba -boof. A night crawler can jump, just phase in and out. Or jump, I guess. With a blast of smoke. Megan, beware, danger. Creatures in your basement. Ay. Started her. Bamf. Be careful. I'll be fine it's you i'm concerned about you're weak as a baby megan says teleporting isn't as easy as it used to be they're in oh there's nobody there empty but it was i saw my gutta did i imagine it London, Thames side. I'm not sure what building that is. I've never been to London. Or if it's even a real building. It must be. Fraser's Bank. Who's the looker, Abby? Just my type. Nothing to do with you, pig. The receptionist says. That'll be the date pig oh the, let me read the bubbles uh, in order who's the looker abby nothing to do with you pig and the receptionist thinking pig right that's cool just my type the creepy guy says that'll be the day the receptionist says and then pig care to introduce us unlike some people nigel pig <laughs> funny great writing great writing oh it's the same creep from the hostage crisis oh it's rachel again i have work to do he says or she says no matter be more fun breaking the ice on my own look at him go i do hope pig you fall in nigel flobisher merchant banking charmed i'm sure in all the time since Brian and I moved into the lighthouse, nothing else, uh, nothing like what Nightcrawler saw, saw ever happen to us. Fascinating. I'll tell Brian. Maybe he'll have some ideas, Rachel says. You know, my sweet, I can't shake the feeling. We'll be in London tonight nightcrawler says see you then so she's talking to them 
Oh, don't piss off Rachel. Seriously. We've met somewhere before. Oh, Rachel's getting pissed. This man, his hands. Oh, he's touching Rachel. His thoughts. I beg your pardon. Oink. Oh, the phoenix appears. I strongly suggest, Mr. Frobisher, the next time you're with a lady, be a gentleman. I get a little creep. That's the chap who assorted Rachel at the nightclub thought for a moment he recognized her as Phoenix. She told me she was going uh, to Psylink with Megan and Nightcrawler. Poor girl was probably so wrapped up in, in that she didn't even realize the man was there. I was afraid I'd have to take a hand again. She handed him well, she handled him well, but he's the type will never get the message that's what he says still perhaps I should suggest Rachel adopt a more conservative conservative mode of attire Brian sorry I'm late the usual crisis on Wall Street Courtney Ross Brian says I don't mind waiting especially for you flatterer music to my ears I must say the years have been good to you no less than you he says he's very polite very polite a gentleman Captain Britain it seems like only yesterday we were at university together Brian says now you're senior vice president of this bank and more beautiful than I remember that won't be hard she says but when did you become a blonde always was but in school I conspired this I considered this color socially and politically the class too flashy and individual so I dyed it Auburn cool. I'm glad you changed it back it's quite spectacular I'm sure my dear you haven't come calling after all this time simply to indulge in fond rem reminiscences reminiscences no i need of your bank that's what we're here for tell me all she says time moves a space thus giving way to night and back at Merlin's muse plans are reaching fruition okay kiddo now to find out if you really are the genius you think you are bingo my module works let's read that what does that say cerebral detection program location one Merlin muse London bios bio Skinalysis, mutant con contact, identif identifax, phoenix. Nice. Now, all I have to do to complete my deception. Oh, look at that! That's phoenix six phoenix's costume she's got. That's why the cover of number two had one of the werewolves holding Phoenix Phoenix's costume. 
We don't know that, of course. Reading issue number one. Oh, look at that. She put it on. Right? Let's read what she's thinking. So what was the last words? To complete my deception is look the part. Oh gosh, oh golly, my my the skins aren't this tight. Heck, my real skin isn't this tight. <laughs> if anyone I know sees me, I'll positive positively die. And these heels, how come Rachel doesn't bust an ankle every time she takes a step? The heck with it. If she can manage look at that, right? Her skin is in this tight. So can I going out in the high heels my duple ganger module predicts phoenix phoenix's unique replicates phoenix's unique energy pattern but much stronger so that anyone scanning for her will home in on me i hannah hannah my hair i hannah my hair to make it more red and use makeup to fake her facial tattoos hopefully the disguise will fool the war wolves and if i'm i'm lucky draw them out of hiding here we are nightcrawler brian's home in london we made the flight in record time good thing if we take him any longer Lebechen he nightcrawler says this but I never Lepchen Lepchen I don't know what that is I think I looked it up once I'd have frozen solid so they've been flying so it was cold up in the air right Lepchen <laughs> Check this out. And so a little later, ah, much, much better. I love English bathtubs. They're the only ones I know where I can stretch, stretch out full length. A century or two of this, and I might actually start to feel human again. Yeah. Yo. Yeah since you were so cold nighty i fixed you a mug of steaming hot cocoa what's the matter <laughs> she just steps in <laughs> look at her go she's so innocent right so innocent so sweet megan dear girl a gentleman prefers some privacy in his bath oh how strange on dynasty Joan, Joan Collins never seems to mind being interrupted in her bubble bath. Uh -huh -huh. And Joan Collins was a, is a character from uh, Dallas, I believe. It was a sort of a prime time uh, soap opera. Unlike you, she doesn't have a very big, very powerful, very hot tempered boyfriend. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. He just goes underwater. So sweet. So sweet. Meanwhile, so much for this idea, but it seemed so right. The pieces fit so well. We haven't seen hide nor hair, 
of the war wolves in ages we were actually starting to wonder if they'd return home to their own dimension until Ray's seizures she's walking through the streets of London right she couldn't get a telepathic fix on the victim or murderer and the werewolves are immune to our psychic powers because of that it's too dangerous for her to hunt them and we haven't had any luck looking as a team dynamite love a love Le love a love <laughs> how about we party oh he put his hand on her and just went through which is why I decided to play a solo stalking horse brilliant plan if it works she says Merlin's muse again anything interesting on the tube Megan Coronation Street and EastEnders and Doctor Who and film 88 and Wild Ways and Star Trek I've lost uh, I've lots of popcorn if you want to watch too the way she sits look at that super cool perhaps later she loves television poor girl to Megan it's like a window into the into another fantastic reality and who knows she may be right arc this must be Brian's workshop someone's been busy here kitty by the handiwork she isn't at home where could she cerebro Duplicanger module two signals scanning mode mutant contact identifax phoenix is there two blips on there yeah there's two blips on there check that out on the map that's probably the real oh no that's probably kitty because it's amplified more and that's rachel right there right scanning mode mutant contact identified phoenix libra gutta has the child lost her senses what has she done he says he's figured it out she's playing the bait right what's going on here the old witch theater the strand london home of the royal shakespeare company no need to yell kurt phoenix no need to yell kurt i'm always in a in a light telepathic rep report with the team just mentally call my name and i'll hear i'll explain as i go kitty kitty's in east london the old dockside warehouse district get to her quick as you can and alert captain britain as well megan and i are already on our way it's done nightcrawler i'll be i'll be with her in a flash phone she zooms through right this is a scene from shakespeare i wonder if that's hamlet or richard the third forget what I, or Othello that might be Othello actually seen from Othello Hamlet someone in live chat is saying Hamlet nice unfortunately bummer 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 fine old English humbugs bummer 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 
Kitty is thinking. Hours of trudging with Zippo to show for it. But for sh sore feet, probably should have talked this over with somebody. But Kurt's the only one I relate to, and him not all that comfortably. Shadow Cat, Phoenix, like links with uh, Kitty while well, she wasn't cycling. Shadow Cat, my outfit, my face, what the blazes? It's a long story. I'll tell you when I get home. Just wish it had a uh, it had a happier happier ending. Talking to yourself, young miss. She said. The police officer says, Sergeant Mulholland. We meet again. Bound to happen. Sweets like you, hot shots like us. So those are the three war wolves. I think there was four of them, I believe. Been waiting most eagerly and impatiently for this moment. Kitty's, Kitty's going on. Kitty, what's going on? No problem, Ray. It's only the cop we met the other night. I see his image in your thoughts, but Kitty, I can't scan his. He's invisible to my psi power. Figured we've forgotten you, baby Phoenix. Oh, gross. Ray, the sergeant, those others, they're war wolves. They're popping out. We don't quit till we've got what we've come for, came for. And that sweetheart, that sweetheart is you. Kitty, run for it. I'll be okay. My phasing power protects me. Oh, they zap her. Go through her. Oh, here comes Phoenix to the rescue. Awesome. Awesome. Don't worry, Kitty. I'm here. I'll save you. Physically, I can't touch these Bowsers, but that doesn't mean I can't use my body. Boom. Zoom. Plus, anything else that's handy. Bam, slams him through the wall. Slam to beat him to a pulp. Oops, spoke too soon. Oh, she crashes herself. Not used to getting physical. Lost my grip. Darn, gloop. Oh, what's pouring on her? You have a lifetime, lifetime contract with our boss, Mojo. You naughty girl. Ain't ethical, ain't right to break it. He made you a star in our dimension. Like it or not, you're gonna shine. <sighs> ethical right, bull. I was a slave and I'll never be one again no matter what the cost kitty phase free of them i'm trying but when the war war wolves hit me i felt it somehow he scrambled my powers i'm stuck uh oh What is this stuff and what's it what's it take to make it let me sploosh go she breaks free what's a story 
one cutie acts like phoenix the other looks like her sneaky sneaky so we grab both look at that they're wearing the skins as if they're jackets right if this one isn't the real thing you got yourself a skin he says to that war wolf oh fine oh great terrific i don't even get a choice you leave her alone monsters make us funny fuzz face bam Whop. I have you, Nightcrawler. Leave me, Megan. Megan, stop those werewolves. They have Kitty. Uh oh. Sorry to be late, team. Took a minute to find a place to change into costume. It was those awful werewolves, Brian. They've kidnapped Kitty, Megan says believing she was me rachel says she thought her phasing powers would protect her only something went wrong and it didn't and now she's their prisoner that's what rachel says only until we rescue her my friends unless they turn her into a war war first oh, oh. that's it next a war wolf possessed that's a great story that's fantastic storytelling really that was fantastic storytelling beautiful claremont beautiful claremont and the artwork fantastic fantastic and we read a mint plus comic book right beautiful shape <laughs> awesome i hope you guys enjoyed gang that was a great read that was a great read now i want to sit down and read number two here's number two right here's number two <laughs> burp that's why this werewolf was holding uh, rachel's costume right while rachel is there right <laughs> elder god says read number two <laughs> nice <laughs> fun fun what a great read what a great read and there was a couple of places here the advertisement were really deep into the story so and this is the first appearance of widget right that's super cool so these characters these guys are going to make an appearance later on for sure crazy gang the crazy gang right ray grant morrison -y. but there's a whole bunch of uh, comic book ordering stuff in here right that we could take a look at super cool what if number one was seven dollars very cool very cool i hope you enjoyed gang i'm gonna put this back in the bag and go back to chat excalibur number one gives us a great feel for what uh what chris uh chris claremont is capable of working with alan davis right i'm gonna turn on chat gang turn on the video as well let's turn on the video uh, where is it here here and from what I understand we're way over time right <laughs> what time is it oh we're not bad we're 15 minutes over our scheduled time 215 that's not bad that's not bad that's not bad at all that's not bad at all I hope you guys enjoyed that was a great read we're gonna do a lot more of these this summer I'm gonna to try to get a lot more of these in okay uh, for sure we're gonna to try to get a lot more of these in okay 
uh, aside from that gang we're over time so I'm gonna do my little closing um, we're doing a live stream tomorrow too much talking too much talking earlier we're trying to get the poor poll thing going so what we'll do next time we're, we'll set up the poll at the beginning of the stream I'll try to set it up um, I'll look into it or from what Zara did I guess it was uh, really easy to set it up so uh, and the mods can set it up so fantastic uh, the, you know we can decide who wants to set it up and uh, we'll take it from there now that we know what the next five books are going to be right aside from that it's basic code it's simple yeah okay okay aside from that gang I'm on patreon if you feel like supporting this work patreon.com backslash chicho chycho you can follow this work creative commons nothing behind behind pace paywalls and I don't make anything private uh, for patrons only everything's open uh, huge thank you to the patrons that are supporting me through patreon uh, it is in large part because of your support through patreon you guys supporting through twitch support through YouTube support through different platforms direct donations through PayPal and all the likes share conversation and stuff that I'm able to do this work and we're creeping up to 1,000 videos on YouTube by the way we're at 930 plus right now we are live streaming this through twitch twitch.tv backslash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e getting close to 1,000 we got like I think like 60 more to go 65 more to go or something we'll take our own sweet time we're gonna go same pace as we are or we have been right sometimes more sometimes less we'll see we'll see if you want to follow this work you want to participate in the live stream twitch is where you want to be at okay i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on twitter minds gas vk lo and parlor you can follow the work there we do share additional information as well as well as on patreon a lot of the open discussions that we have the audio will be loaded on soundcloud soundcloud.com backslash chicho chycho okay and this video will be uploaded to youtube and bitshoot okay gang thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed the reading and i'm i'm actually very surprised that excalibur got the most votes by a long shot a lot of people want to read this fantastic a lot of love for the series and if you're looking to buy back uh, back issues on the cheap and have fantastic reads excaliburs you can get on a cheap for now anyway i'm not sure how how much in demand it will be in the future but it's a fantastic read one of the best x related comic book series and comic book series in general uh well worth reading it's a little zany they go traveling to different uh timelines and worlds and whatnot uh, but a lot of fun a lot of fun aside from that mods thank you for being here cheryl if you're still around welcome to our mod world i think she had to take off uh catholic traditions have a great rest of your sunday folks pax vobescom pax vobescom i gotta figure out what that means peace everyone i hope you have a fantastic as catholic traditions say rest of your sunday and i'll see you guys tomorrow at 9 a.m we're doing a live stream open discussion on personal finance i believe economics okay we'll see that, that where that conversation takes us bye everyone